everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. This is Gregor Zane week to uh, celebrate the release of the sequel to The Hanover Block, which is The Brides of Hanover Block, but we'll get to that review tomorrow. Uh, right up front, I need to let you guys know that I beta read these. I think I even did, a, I think I did content editing um, on these two books, or I think it was more like beta reading. I didn't actually do any editing. Um, but it, I hope that is a testament to how many times I've done this, how many times I've reviewed and talked about my friends' books that I hope will give you an idea that this is completely unbiased. Uh, Gregor Zane is a great friend of mine, really good dude, but the reason why we meant to begin with, the reason we met, the way we met, is I left him a critical review of this book back here, Six Dead Spots. I think I gave it three stars. Um, and in my review, I gave him some criticisms, and he, I'd never talked to the guy before, never met him before. He messaged me, emailed me, something along those lines, maybe on Facebook, can't remember. Um, and he said, hey dude, I appreciate the feedback, uh, would you mind reading some, some other stuff of mine? I was like, hell yeah. But he took my feedback, um, and we became friends. We've been friends ever since. I would say we're going on five years of friendship, um, one of the things that Gregor said, I'm not tooting my own horn, but one of the things that Gregor said was, you know, he saw my review and he said, this guy gets it. You know, he, he's on the same wavelength that I am. And that's why we're friends now, because we can be critical of each other. Um, and he is content edited. He's even edited some of my, my own work. Um, in fact, he gets to read all of my stuff before anybody else. Uh, if you ever see his reviews on Goodreads of my stuff, it's usually like, haha, I already read this book. Um, but anyways, we're talking about the Hanover Block which is, I think, the second book I ever read from him. Um, we also have short stories together in the Bad Apples anthologies. They're Halloween-themed, and the uh, Valentine-themed one, Dead Roses, I think it's called, from Corpus Press. But, uh, so the Hanover Block is a very, very interesting story. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read the back of these, because um, some people have said they they want to know more about the actual story, and I don't talk much about story points, I just talk about what I liked and what I didn't like. So, uh, the, here's the story points or the description for you guys. Uh, the Hanover Block. Living in the long shadow of a tragic accident, Marion struggles through his solitary suburban life. He resigned himself to a static existence, to living and dying in a world where every house looks exactly the same. Then he notices changes in his neighborhood. Tool sheds and playhouses are cropping up all over, hastily constructed and set at odd angles. The nut job down the road builds an outhouse in the middle of his front yard, and the guy right next door is erecting two geodesic climbing domes, one nested inside the other. People are doing strange things on their lawn. And a, a quote from me on the cover says, uh, Backyard Bizarro of the Nastiest Order. I've called Gregor Zane uh, bizarro fiction before. I really don't think that does his work justice. Uh, there's a lot, there's quite a bit more literary merit to what he's writing. And I was talking to him uh, a couple days ago, and I said, dude, I honestly think you're more along the lines of magical realism, with more of a, of a, I don't want to say god, not gaudy, but more of a lewd aspect to it. Uh, these books are sexually explicit, but not in the way that you would assume, not in the way that you would think. It's not erotica. It is more, I almost want to say, it's more of a literary monster porn. I know that sounds crazy. I know that sounds weird. But that's part of the brilliance of this is how he makes his, his crazy happenings so believable. Um, and it, like I said, it does lean more along the lines of magical realism. Um, I push this guy's work very hard with anybody I talk to because he, he's nowhere near as well known as he should be. And one of the reasons I think he should be well known is because his writing chops are exceptional. Every single book he gets better. From Six Dead Spots to The Hanover Block to Taboo Gasm over here. He even has a funny little uh, short story that he sent me called The Biggest Fish Taco. So The Hanover Block. This... Uh, I don't want to give too much away about this story. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link you to the book itself down there in the doobly-doo. I want you to go out and I want you to buy it. I want you to read it for yourself. Uh, 
another thing is I'm going to be doing a giveaway on on Wednesday. Now, what the giveaway entails is I am going to give you a title of the next book in the series that is not released yet, and in the next video I'm going to give you yet another title for a book that from him that is not released yet. If you put these titles on that video, if you comment, the first person is going to get one copy each, and they are signed of the first and the second book in the series, or the first and the second book in the series, The Hanover Block and Brides of Hanover. And yes, they are signatrade. So let's get let's let's get to the signatrade page. Signatrade. As there's him signatrade right there. Okay. So um, a little bit more uh, as far as this book is concerned, it is it. It is nasty. It's disgusting in sections. So if you're if you're here for that, definitely check it out. But there's there's an underlying humor to all of this also that I think is like a staple of magical realism and Bizarro. Um, the the main thing is it's his imagination that really really you really catch catch right off the bat. Even if you're not an author or someone who appreciates really good writing. Uh, you are going to catch the originality of it, um, and his his mind blows me away. I think that's one of the things that really got me about Six Dead Spots is is his imagination. The guy goes places that you never expect, and he's one of the most unpredictable authors that I have ever read, and certainly the most unpredictable author I have the pleasure of knowing myself. Um, I have read the first the second and the third books in the series and they continuously get better in quality. Um, but this first book, if you have not read it, if you haven't read anything by Gregor Zane, I highly suggest you go check him out. Even if, especially if you don't win the, the giveaway, just go buy the books, check them out yourself. Um, now another thing is he is a an independent author. I don't want that to scare anybody away because he is working at like a traditional publishing level. So go check him out. Links down there in the doobly doo. But until next time, I have been E. You have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye. I bet you thought I forgot to give you the title of the book for the giveaway in in this first video, huh? Well, you're right. I did. <laughs> the title for the first video of the giveaway is. The Son of Hanover Block, or Son of Hanover Block. Remember, the first person to comment on Wednesday's video gets both copies of The Hanover Block and Brides of Hanover Block.